guys, I'm just, today I'm just going to run you through my own little personal particle mix, how I make it. To begin with, there's some garlic granule in there to start off the mix. You put it in the bottom of the tub, not much, just a couple shakes. You can buy it from your supermarket, not doesn't cost much. And then the next part, we've got some hemp here, 5 kg from uh, Impact Particle. So we start pouring that in. Good chunk of that in for now. Also, just some uh, tin corn. I like the juices. Get out, get some of that in for now. Need about half a tin or a third of a tin. And then also, I like to add a bit of Teddy Fisher, the ground bait attractors. So we're going to use the Concentrix Roach, I'm going to put a bit of that for a bit of a cloud effect for when I'm spotting. And it's a concentra it's concentration of one, uh, one ingredient that will be in most of your ground baits that you come across. I'm going to use a little bit of uh, honey and ginger as well, another additive. Super sweet this is. Again, it's just concentrated ginger and honey cone. So it's sickly sweet. And then a bit of concentric spareem as well. Again, a ground bait additive. <clears throat> They're 400 grams, you don't need much. Like every one of them bags, you could probably make about 4 kilos to 5 kilos of ground bait at least. it is strong I'm only putting a tiny amount in I'll show you it now get it in there give it a quick mix up you know your blend's all right you're not gonna have like hemp on the bottom with no corn or anything in there add some more hemp it's important that is to be fair Start off and mix just like you would your ground bait. I mean, if you don't want to get your hands dirty, you can just put the lid on and shake it off. And to be fair, that's normally what I do. But for video purposes, it's a bit easier if I just do it by hand. And there's no real difference at all. Now we'll put the glugs in. And a bit more of this hemp before I finish off. And the last of the corn. Super sweet mix this is. Especially now I've put the ginger and the honey in from Teddy Fisher and the bream concentrates. Sure, it's all mixed in with the bottom stuff. Got a tiny bit of corn in there, and what you can also do with the corn that I've put in there, you could use that as your hook bait as well as use it as a feed throughout the session, knowing that it's going to be seasoned up with the garlic and the hemp that you're putting out, and all the oils absorbing into the corn. Now some uh, krill from Impact Particle. Just a good dash of it. I'll bring it up now. You can see the good dash. Give that a little mix. Put a bit of fish meal need a bit more, I can just add a bit more. I 
And now my little secret trick that I've been using for ages, and they've brought it out like last year, I think it was, or this year. A litre jelly cans of slime. So this stuff is a high visual bait, probably the best on the market you can get. And again, just add a nice amount of this. And spread it out evenly, don't just dump it in the middle. Because otherwise it won't spread nicely over all the bait. As you can see I've added quite a nice amount of the my favourite from the slime range, the squiddo. Beautiful stuff. I'll bring it back up to you. And give this a good shake. I might put the lid on now, guys, because I don't want to put my hands in it. <laughs> so they will stink and die green. Wicked. Make sure the gloves gone through. And it has. Nice and neatly. I'll show you that, guys. Beautiful. You can see all the green going through it nicely. Anyway, thank you for watching. That's how I make my particle mix or a bit of a spod mix. But it's perfect, guys. It'll attract all, all species of fish, carp, roach, bream, tench. So it's my go-to. And it's also pretty effective on the rivers as well for your chub and the barbel and dace. And again, your silver species. So anyway, cheers guys. Wish me luck.